Hi guys, it's Eslyn and thanks for tuning in. Today I want to get right into it and I want to talk to you guys about your luteal phase and the importance of your luteal phase in your cycle, especially if you're trying to get pregnant. Um, so the luteal phase happens right after you ovulate. It's the second phase of your cycle, so it's after you ovulate until you get your next period um, or become pregnant. Uh, so the luteal phase typically should last about 12 to 14 days. In some women, it's a little less, and it could be um, 10 days, but ideally you want it to be around the 12-day, 14-day mark. If it's any shorter than 10 days, that means that you have a short luteal phase, and that is a, huge, a big problem if you're trying to get pregnant. Let's just say after ovulation, your luteal phase only lasts eight to nine days. That's very short for your egg to successfully implant into your uterine and then you become pregnant. So I'm going to back up a little bit and talk to you about um, what's causing the short luteal phase. So a follicle in your ovary that contained an egg before ovulation changes into your cor corpus uh, luteum. So once you've ovulated, um, that follicle changes into a corpus luteum and it releases the hormone progesterone. Now, progesterone is an extremely important hormone because once you've ovulated, your progesterone spikes up and what it does is that it thickens your uterus line and it also allows for a successful implantation. Now, now if your progesterone is low, it'll then cause your uterus line to start shedding and then that's when you get your period. So basically that's the cause of a short luteal phase. You're getting your menstrual, you're getting your um, period within the t less than 10 day mark and you need it to last at least 10 to 14 days preferably so that you can allow your egg to successfully implant into your uterus line. For me this month, um, it lasted, I'm sorry, oh, my ninth day is when I got, um, I started to get spotting. So that is a, a sign of a short um, luteal phase. So the month before that, it was 10 days. Um, you know, sometimes it'll be 11 days. And, you know, ma mainly I go from nine days to 11 days. So I'm like kind of like right in that border, like back and forth. Um, but I have done certain things where I can extend my luteal phase and I have seen it 12 days. Um, so I highly recommend if you do have a short luteal phase, first of all, you, have, you should start tracking it. And the best way to track it is by um, charting your cycle. So you're gonna take your basal body temperature the first thing uh, when you wake up. And before moving, before getting out of bed, you just roll over, you grab your basal body uh, thermometer, you know, you pop it in and you write down, you quickly jot down um, your, um, your, your temperature. Now you're going to do this every single day at the same exact time. And then after a month, two months, you're going to see like a pattern. You're going to see a pattern of that month. And then it's going to show you exactly, um, you know, within, with the different temperatures, you're going to see like how long your luteal phase is. You're going to see exactly when you ovulate. So I highly recommend that you start, uh, using your basal body t uh, thermometers and you start, um, using your charts to track your cycles. So, and it'll give you a, um, a good visual so that you can see how high your progesterone is and when it starts to drop. You're gonna see all that once you start, um, once the month ends and you get the bigger picture. Cause every day you're just gonna, like it's not gonna make sense. But then at the end, or when you're like at the end of your cycle, you're gonna be like, oh wow, like, you know, I could see exactly where you ovulated and then it shoots up because the progesterone shoots up, which raises your, um, your body temperature and then you'll see like the different level uh, once you um, once you've ovulate you'll see the different levels of your um, basal body temperature so um, I highly recommend charting because you get a full picture and you can see exactly how long your uh, luteal phase lasts and when it drops and you're gonna like I have on my chart, I, I can see like, okay, it lasted high for, you know, 
six days or, or eight days and then it drops and then that's basically when I'm about to get my period um, but if you're pregnant it'll stay elevated and it'll continue to stay elevated and it'll get higher so I highly recommend that um, now I've also used supplements at like uh, B6 which I highly recommend it is very effective um, you you could buy it on Amazon I'll put a link down below to the one I use um, so I'll, I'll just use that I'll you know you could take it all month long you can take it every day it's fine but um, after you've ovulated is like really the really important time you start taking it every single day um, and then you'll notice that it'll get longer um, for me I'm again my personal experience that is it did work for me um, there's also different foods you can take to incorporate uh, B6 and you can up your omega-3s, your essential fatty acids, so things like walnuts, salmon, um, avocados, like just add more of that into your diets, into your meals. One of the supplements that I highly recommend is Vitex. Now Vitex is an herb, and what it does is that it restores and balances your hormones, including progesterone, um, and I highly recommend uh, Vitex to take. I'm gonna link I'm gonna put the link down below as well and to the one I take um, I take um, a thousand milligrams a day um, again highly recommend Vitex it's a great um, herb and it helps balance your hormones I highly recommend it for women with PCOS if you have a short luteal phase it's fantastic um, you know so I, I do recommend to look into Vitex now guys I'm not a medical professional or doctor I'm just giving you tips and advice from what worked for me and my personal experience. Um, so actually this month, I am i didn't take uh, the B6 supplement and I'm no longer taking Vitex, but that's only because um, I was taking it for a really long time and then I stopped. Um, I'm actually going to get back on Vitex, um, but for the, my next cycle, I'm planning to um, take the B6 and I just want to see how long... Um, that just B6 alone extends my luteal phase because uh, like I said my last cycle um, I started spotting at 90 PO and if you check out my um, my other videos of my uh, DPOs and my um, live pregnancy tests um, you'll see that I um, pretty much started spotting um, at 90 PO and I, I was spotting for four days on and off um, I thought it was implantation and it wasn't um, so it was just a really weird cycle for me. So I want to get back on uh, B6 supplements and see how long um, it changes uh, my luteal phase. Um, if it's worked for me before, so I know that I can extend my luteal phase using it. Um, now I want to see if it works for just maybe two days or if it's extended for four days. I have no idea. So I will make another video and I'll update you guys to see uh, with my B6 um, review update and let you know how long it does extend it. Um, let me know if you're taking B6. I highly recommend it again. Um, I'll also make a video on Vitex because that's something that I highly recommend, um, especially if you're uh, struggling with your luteal phase. Um, or if you have PCOS, I highly recommend it. Even if you're not getting pregnant, I just highly recommend, um, you know, uh, taking Vitex because it does help a lot regulate and balance your hormones. Um, but comment below, let me know um, if you take any of these or if you have any questions. Um, I'm more than happy to chat with you guys. I love hearing from you guys. Um, don't forget to subscribe and give me a big fat thumbs up. Um, thanks for so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.